Good morning, guys, or good afternoon, whether you're joining me from the present or the future. Welcome back to another Future Fight Vanguard video. This is going to be the last Future Fight Vanguard video for a while now because uh, we're going to be completely caught up with this video. So this is video four out of four um, that is going to be dropped on Friday, October the 30th because of um, Hurricane Zeta and everything that was hitting Georgia. Um, I lost power, signal, you know, all that stuff that I covered in the other videos. Um, so I'm releasing four videos uh, for you guys today, probably hour by the hour from 8 all the way up until midnight, um, Eastern Standard Time. So, um, yeah, so all the future fights will be out by tonight. So definitely, if you're watching this video, you have officially watched the last um, of the future fight videos until at least we get the new set in area. Um, so we're going to be covering the Big Belly deck today. Um, so it, this is the last, uh, basically the second version of the Great Nature decks that are coming out in this set. It is also a retrain of a G deck um, that dealt with like um, success was the keyword that we had, which is basically that if your unit is 20,000 power or higher. So this Big Belly uh, definitely does deal with that in a way. So basically, um, yeah, it's a very fun deck. It basically works in a way like Mordred. Uh, restand, it, you attack with all your rear guards, then you attack a vanguard, and you restand your rear guards um, accordingly. So yeah, it's a very good deck. Uh, it's very strong, very powerful, and it's very consistent as well. So I really, really like it because of the consistency. But we're going to get right into the deck here uh, if, already. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell button so you don't have to miss any future Card Fight Empire content. Be sure to like the video if you like it. Comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the deck and maybe uh, what ideas you're trying out for your own Big Belly build. Also, be sure to check out that join button next to the subscribe button. If you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, it definitely helps the channel keep going and shows that you guys want to support if that's something that you're interested in. And then also be sure to check out my second channel in the description down below, Let's Plays Animes, where I have a channel that's focused on anime, animation, and video games. But with that being said, let's get right into the Big Belly build. So, um, as you guys can see here, we have a lot of grade threes in the deck, but there is a reason for that, and uh, we're gonna get, go over it basically because you just uh, use some of your grade threes as rear guards and as uh, shove soul fodder. Um, and what I mean by shove soul is basically you shove them to soul to do abilities. Um, and so let's get started with the grade threes as usual. So first we have four famous professor Big Belly. So Big Belly has two abilities. The first one is a Vanguard ability that says when your rear guard is retired by a card's ability during each battle phase or each end phase, you may draw a card. So this is really good because a lot of um, cards in this deck have the ability, um, if it uses its, its ability, it dies during the end phase or it dies during the battle phase. So whenever it would die during the battle phase or die during the end phase, you actually get to draw a card with Big Belly, which is very similar to how the G deck worked, um, except on the G deck you would place little skills on cards that would give plus 5,000 and then a skill that would say at the end phase draw a card and retire this unit or something like that. So this is just the V-Series way of them creating that mechanic and them getting that done. Then Big Belly's second skill, which is what makes it very good, is when it attacks, you can counterblast one and then choose one of your um, rear guards that have plus uh, have 20,000 power or greater and then restand it. And then if your soul has a grade three card in it, then you get to stand all of your rear guards with plus 20,000 power. Um, so, or sorry, stand all of your rear guards that have 20,000 power or more. So basically what that means is that um, this deck was set up to be you know, um, a when you ride Big Belly second, you'll be able to use the full power of the deck. But actually, because of one of our grade threes, Hamdon, you're actually able to use Big Belly to its full potential right off the first time that you go to grade three. And that can be very hurtful to your opponent, especially if they're on grade two. Next up, we have four Searcher of Perfect Circle, Flow Panther. So what Flow Panther does is two um, abilities. The first one is an activation skill. So during the main phase, you can Soul Blast 1 on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle once per turn. And you can choose one of your units and it gets plus 10,000 power. And then at the end of that turn, you retire the Rearguard um, chosen by this effect. And then if that if uh, this unit, which is Flow Panther, is on Vanguard, then you get to draw a card. So basically allows you to draw one, um, draw one and retire one if it's on Vanguard Circle. And then if it's not, then you're most likely on Big Belly for your Vanguard. And you're going to get to draw one anyways um, when that unit retires at the end phase. And then its own ability um, on the uh, rear guard is when it's retired from rear guard, 
by your card's ability. If you have a Vanguard with Big Belly in its name, you may put this card into your soul. So just another way to get a grade three into your soul if you don't have another Big Belly to re-ride or something like that, or you weren't able to activate Hamdon that turn. Um, so Hamdon, the reason why we run four is because we obviously want to see all these pieces. And we run 12 grade threes because it's very um, important that we see not only a Big Belly, but also a Hamdon and then another grade three. So we want to have at least three different grade threes in our hand um, by the time that we get to grade three so that we can uh, pop off with Big Belly. So Rocket Pencil Hamdon skill is Vanguard Rearguard Circle once per turn. When your other unit is placed on an additional Rearguard, so when your other unit is placed on an Excel uh, marker, then you get to Counterblast one and put a card from your hand into soul, which would clearly be a grade three. Um, and then this unit and that unit get plus 10,000 power. And then if you have two or more additional rear guard circles, you may draw a card. So I don't really ever use this card's ability really when I already have two or more because the point is to get Big Belly off as soon as possible. Um, and so if you get it off, you don't really care about drawing the card because your aggression is going to make up for that. Next up in our grade two lineup, we have four measured Fossa. So what measured Fossa does is has two abilities. The first one is when placed from hand on the Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, you may counterblast one. If you do, you look at the top two cards from the top of your deck, you call one to Rearguard, and you put the rest into Drop Zone. So basically just thins out your deck. Hopefully the card that you put in the Drop Zone wasn't a trigger. Um, if, you, if it did work out that way, then you successfully um, made your deck thinner without getting rid of triggers. And if it didn't work out that way, unfortunately you, you lost the trigger, but at least you plus one to your board. Then its other rearguard ability is once per turn when it attacks, if your vanguard is grade 3 or greater, which means that it's not reliant on our opponent being grade 3 or greater, which is amazing. Um, and then we, you can soul blast one, choose one of your rearguards, and it gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. And at the end of that turn, retire that unit again, uh, proccing Big Belly off and would be able to draw you a card when that card retires at the end phase. Then for our next grade 2, we run 4 Spool Mary. So Spool Mary has two abilities. The first one is on rear guard once per turn when it attacks. If you have a Vanguard with Big Belly in its card name, you may choose one of your Vanguards and this unit to get plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. And then if you do, at the end of the turn, you retire this unit. So because this card has to have Big Belly on the Vanguard to be able to use its ability, you're always going to be getting off its ability of when it retires, you draw a card through Big Belly. So Big Belly just replaces a lot of cards and in, and in a lot of cases, just draws you extra cards as well. And then um, its second ability is when rode upon, you may call this card a rear guard circle. So this is our ideal grade two ride because when you ride over it, it will call itself to rear guard circle and that's a free plus one. Next up, we run a uh, three blusher parakeet. Um, this is to help us get to those grade threes that we need. So basically blusher parakeet skills on Vanguard rear guard when placed, counter blast one, look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck, reveal it to one grade three card from among them, put it into your hand, Shuffle your deck, and this unit gets plus 3,000 power. And then if it's on the rearguard circle, at the end of the turn, you retire it. So again, if you're on Big Belly, you draw a card. But you'll mostly be using this card uh, to its fullest advantage on grade 2. So if you're on grade 2, it won't be drawing a card or anything. But at least, um, hopefully, at least you get your grade 3. Next up, moving into our grade 1s, we have 4 History Scientist Bushback. Just like the Isabel deck, we run Bushback, except... Bushback is almost better in this deck because when you use its second skill to at the end of the battle boost it, retire, and then one of your rear guards gets plus 10k, you will get to draw a card off of Big Belly because of that retire. Um, so not only uh, when you go second, you get to ride Bushback, and when placed, you discard a card from your hand, draw a card, so you can essentially discard a quick shield ticket. Um, but if you don't use it for that, you can use that as the rear guard ability to have your rear guards be bigger and then you also draw a card from Big Belly so that it won't be a minus. Moving on to our next grade one, we have four Diligent Assistant Mini Belly. Mini Belly is basically our top five for a grade three searcher. And then um, during your turn, if a unit is on your additional rear guard circle, this unit will get plus 5,000 power. So basically, uh, if you have a unit on your Excel circle, it'll get plus 5,000 power. Pretty easy, pretty simple. And then uh, on Vanguard Rearguard, when placed from your hand, look at the top five cards from your deck and reveal the grade three. Uh, and you can get into your hand and then shuffle your deck. If you did, you put a card, uh, oh, you discard a card, you put a card into drop zone from your hand. So basically, um, with all the grade threes that we need before getting to the actual grade three turn, like I was discussing, you definitely want to have all these different ways to get to your grade three. And then last but not least, we have two Scoring Master Mouse Toby. 
when mouse to uh, mouse toby's skill is on the vanguard circle when its attack hits you draw a card and then on the rear guard circle when it's retired by our card's ability if we have a vanguard with big belly in its name we counter charge one this is what keeps our resources alive so basically when the, when mouse toby would be retired if we had big belly we would counter charge one from mouse toby and we would draw one from big belly uh, for our starter, we run the uh, beginning Hyrax, which is the same as the Isabel deck. Uh, not really a specific reason. I just think that this starter is cute. Um, and basically, when rode upon, we draw a card. And if our opponent's Vanguard is grade one or greater, we put a quick shield ticket into our hand. So you have these discard abilities that you will use in the deck. And you basically can use your quick shield ticket for them if you haven't already used it to block a very simple early game attack. So then just like the Isabel deck, we run eight front triggers, uh, four draws, and four heals. I think that front is what Great Nature has just always been better with because it spreads all the power across your board and it just makes it so that your win condition is attacking with big uh, like big columns across your board. Also with Big Belly, when you restand your columns, um, you will be getting a front trigger after that and that will be the most effective way to spread uh, the triggers that you need. So we have three Alarm Chicken, three Castanot Donkey, uh, two Correction Chinchilla, four Cable Sheep, and four Insurance Doctor Care Bath. So that has been the actual build portion of the video. And next we are going to load up the games portion of the video. Putting in Big Belly 1. And for the first game we're playing against Blouse. So this is pretty interesting because I've never played against this deck before now. Um, but we do go second and we ride Bushback to, and we discard our Quick Shield to draw a card. Our opponent rides Cool Hank, we know guard. Because we did want the Counter Blast. And then we ride uh, Spool Mary and we call Fossa. Using Fossa's skill, looking at that top two. And then we end up calling out a Spool Mary and putting Bushback to the drop zone. We check top five for a grade three, we don't get anything. We check top five for our second mini belly, and we don't get anything, which is super unfortunate. Our opponent gets a heal on defense, which is also super unfortunate, so that neither one of these columns can hit. And then rides Victor. Um, so this is actually a Victor deck. I was mistaken. I thought it was a Blau deck because they're using the Blau starter, but it's actually a Victor deck. So our opponent is doing all the things that Victor does. So attacking us with Ghost Ledge, we do get a front trigger on defense, which is pretty cool. Which means that this 13k attack doesn't hit us, but the 24 does. And then attacks for 12 to our Vanguard. And we know guard, hoping that he won't get a trigger, but he does get a heal trigger. And a draw trigger, and a crit trigger. So as you guys can see, we got pretty messed up by that. So we get attacks for 34, we block. Um, our opponent attacks for 32. We intercept and block, and then we um, get attacked for 44, and we block. And then we ride F uh, Flow Panther for turn, which is honestly super unfortunate. If we had Big Belly, this would be a lot better. Um, but basically, Fl um, Spool Mary ends up being called out. We end up attacking Vanguard um, with Flow Panther, and we do get a front trigger. So our opponent just takes all of our attacks without wasting any cards in hand, which is unfortunate. Because now we are at 5 damage, he's at 5 damage, and his deck is definitely better than mine when you're at 5 damage. Uh, especially when I don't have Big Belly on the field. So we take that last attack, and that ends up being the game one because we couldn't find a Big Belly, unfortunately. So loading up Big Belly game two here, we're actually playing um, a mirror match. I believe that's another Big Belly deck. Yes, so we're playing a mirror match. Uh, we go first, so we ride Bushback. And we use Bushback skill to discard one, draw one, because we're looking for that Big Belly. Our opponent uses Mini Belly to look at top five and actually gets his Big Belly, and he already has one in hand here. So that's pretty good for him. He attacks for eight, and we no guard. Uh, Flow Panther goes to the damage zone. We ride Spool Mary, we call Blusher Parakeet, using Blusher Parakeet skill to check top seven. Off the top seven, we do get our Big Belly, so now we completely have our setup with Big Belly, Hamdon, and any random grade three after that. So we attack for 12, and then we attack for 17. Our opponent takes it. And then our opponent goes and rides Spool Mary and calls out Blusher Parakeet, a mirror play to my own. Gets Flow Panther. However, he does not have the the secret sauce of Hamdon in his hand. 
So we do take the first attack. Um, and we do take the second attack as well because we wanted one counter blast for Hamdon and one counter blast for Big Belly. So when we ride out Big Belly, Spool comes out of the soul. And then we call Hamdon and we call Fossa. We use uh, we actually don't use Fossa skill. We use Hamdon to counter blast one, put the grade three in a soul. And then Fossa and uh, Hamdon get plus 10. And then we attack Vanguard for 22. Uh, we use Fossa skill to give plus 10k to Spool. Because that's the only way that Spool will be over the 20k threshold. And then we attack with Spool Mary giving 10k to itself and Vanguard. Then we attack, we counter blast one, and we restand our columns, and we get a front trigger and a heal, which is absolutely amazing. Our opponent damage checks a crit. And then when a bushback retires, we give 10k to this Hamdon, and we draw one off of Big Belly. We attack with Spool Mary for 39, our opponent PGs that, and then we attack for 52, our opponent PGs that as well. Uh, so then at the end phase, Spool Mary retires, and we draw one off of Big Belly, which leaves our opponent with very, very low resources. Also, he cannot do the same play. That we just did, he needs a grade 3 in his soul, unfortunately, for him. So our opponent attacks with Spool Mary for 24, attacks us for 22, we block it, attacks us for 22, counter boss 1, and restand Spool Mary. We no guard, and he doesn't get any damage triggers, and I get a draw trigger on defense. That's pretty much when I knew that I won the game. So he attacked my rear guard. And then he attacked my other rear guard, and we guarded that even though, oh yeah, so we, I was going to say even though we should have let it go, so I actually ended up letting it go. Um, so I draw for turn into Big Belly, I get another Excel 2. I call out Blusher Parakeet, then I call out uh, Hamdon and Spool Mary, getting top 5 for a grade 3. And then discarding a card, and I play the Big Belly on the rear guard circle. So I go for 24 to Vanguard here because I knew that I would be able to counter boss one to restand and it was the only threshold that could restand. So I counter boss one to restand this full Mary and hope to hit a front. Um, I no guard and I do, or my opponent no guards and I do hit a front trigger. So even if he did a uh, six damage heal, he would still have to guard all of this. Um, and he probably would die. I didn't really count the amount of shield in his hand just now to see if he would have died for sure. But he probably would have died or been at such a disadvantage that he couldn't come back and bring the game back. So for game three, we're actually playing against Gold Paladin, which is a deck that I haven't played against in a long time in Standard. But I will soon because the next set contains Gold Paladin, Gurguit. So I actually ride Spool Mary here. I just attack for a nine. And as you guys can see, we do have the setup here. Big Belly, Hamdon, and a regular grade three. Our opponent goes into Vivian, counter boss one, soul boss one. And then calls one to rear guard circle. And then attacks us for 20. We no guard. He gets aggravane. And then we do get a heal trigger. And we do get a draw trigger on defense. Uh, so that only helps make our turn stronger. But our spool Mary comes out of the soul. We play Hamdon. And then uh, Hamdon skill. Counter boss one. Putting it into the soul. Plus 10k to both rear guards. And then we attack for 22 to our opponent's vanguard. He doesn't get a damage trigger. We attack for 27 to our opponent's vanguard. He doesn't get a damage trigger. We attack for 29. Um, our opponent does, uh, does get a damage trigger. And then we attack for 22. We restand and we get a draw trigger, giving the power to Hamdon. And then we attack for 27 again, 29 again. And then 32 uh, to our opponent's vanguard. And as you guys can see, he only had grade threes left in his hand. So if we had any stronger of a turn than that, like if we got a front trigger or something like that, he probably would have just died before even reaching grade three. So you guys seem to really see how strong this deck is when you pop off with the combo really early. Um, so our opponent called five off of Aggravain this turn, attacks us for 12, then attacks us for 20, which we take and we get a draw trigger on defense. And then we take the area and all skill as well. He uses Aggravain to look at the top five cards. And then he calls cards out. He attempts to use uh, Vivian, but he ends up reversing it because Vivian is only when placed from hand. Uh, and then he shuffles. And then we block this for a no pass on his Vanguard, so he gets a draw trigger and a front trigger, so it's a good thing that we no pass them. And then we take one of his rear guards and we block the other ones. And he attacks my rear guard, so again, we don't need that, so. Um, we go Excel 2, we draw Hamdon for turn, which is super spicy, and then we call out a Spool Mary, 
a Hamdon, and a Fossa. So uh, we use Fossa skill to put another Fossa on board, and we call Bushbet. And we use Hamdon skill, kind of bust one put one in his soul. Fossa and it get 10k, and then we draw a card. And then we use Flow Panther to Soul Blast one and have one of our uh, units get plus 10k, which was itself. So we attacked for 27, then we would have attacked for. Um, we would have attacked with Fossa here, giving 10k uh, to this Spool Mary. So then we would have uh, swung, and then with our Vanguard, we would have checked double grade three. So even though he would have died anyways, because this is too much aggression, uh, I just wanted to see what my drive checks would have been. But uh, that was the final game. Uh, yeah, that was the final game for uh, the Big Belly Future Fight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the video and what you got working for your own Big Belly deck. Like, what do you have working in the great natural intellects of uh, great nature players out there? Um, I would love to see what kind of combos you guys have come up with, and I'm sure others would like to see as well. Because after all, this is a video so that people can get kind of like a showcase of the deck. So if you have any more advanced tips, definitely leave them down in the description or uh, down in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check the description for my second channel, uh, Let's Plays the Animes, if you're interested in anime, animation, or video games. And check that join button next to the subscribe button if you're interested in channel membership and the additional perks that we offer. But with that being said, this has been Josh from Carfight Empire, and I'll see you guys on Monday's video, which will probably be a Vanguard Zero video. Peace, guys.